Hey, everybody, Colossus. <laughs> okay, so one of my least favorite changes about Reignited is they changed the incredible monk chant from the original game. So I am using a mod that puts it back in. It's honestly very sloppily put in these cutscenes. But Thank hey, you whatever. so much. Thank you so much. It's <laughs> my favorite thing ever. Why do they get rid of it? I don't know. I was like really, really upset when I learned that. It's just like it's a generic ah oh, noise. <laughs> Not only that, I used to imagine. Um, I forget if it was the song of the level in the original or their chant. I always thought it was like always like made the joke that it was Hank Kill going why I why <laughs> Okay, so the one thing about this mod though, that clip is from the PS1, so the audio quality isn't that great. And it's a different voice from the speaking voice, so it doesn't fit that well, but I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I so this is... They it, but... <laughs> no, no, they could have still re-recorded it. Yeah. I'm not I'm not saying use the original voice clip. I mean, I just mean just have the voice actor go, Why I I um why I I um See? Anyway, this is a this is a first real level in the game. You could go to Idle Springs first, but you're not gonna know, um, you're not gonna know how to swim underwater yet. So, go here first, because I don't know why I, I always go to Idle Springs first. Well, don't do that. I'm I'm a dumb dumb dummy. <laughs> you are a dumb dumb dummy. <laughs> wow. Well, glad we got that sorted. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, like, being uh, forced this... to talk to every single, like, NPC is kind of a pain. You could skip past it, though. I mean, yeah, but... Or just you could like... just, like, uh, not have it hey, Spyro, did it. you know you could breathe fire? Yeah. That's pretty much did what you, know you just said. Gems? Okay, the uh, tutorials, <laughs> tutorials go away after the first few levels, so... <laughs> so that's not really an issue. And enemies, like, characters don't force you to talk to them very often, so it's... Honestly, I know why really they're only... here, really, but yeah. like still at the same time. It's no, like... it's really only a thing very early on. Uh, yeah. After the first few levels, it's not really much of a thing. NPCs will still force you to talk to them, but it's mostly just for like required stuff like challenges. Like obviously you need to talk to them because, you know, that's... Mm -hmm. How else would you like even know the challenge is a thing? And we're just showing off these pictures. I like how the, it's all the exact same character and pose, <laughs> just in different <laughs> backgrounds. <laughs> Yeah. Also, the song is great. Yes, it um, is. For the most part, I think the um, the original music is a lot better, but this is the one time where I think that Reignited's version is better, because it's basically just the original, but real instruments. Why, I forget the name uh, of the guy who made the original soundtrack. Stuart Copeland. Stuart Copeland. Yeah. He was the drummer from the band The Police, for everyone that doesn't know. Just, it was very just, good. Just a little known band. I remember the bass lines. Or are you, as as uh, he's more well known as the composer for the Amanda Show. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> forgot about that. <laughs> I hear everybody talking about that show like at work, and I still don't really? understand. I've been really? showing clips, and I still don't get it. You're the one person I watched a little who's bit like, of that uh, show. like I just I just don't get it. I watched a little bit of that show when I was still going on when I was a kid, and I, I wasn't really into it. You're more of a Cory in the House kid. <laughs> I actually did watch Cory in the House when I was younger. Yeah, yeah you're joking, but I did too. <laughs> so, unironically, yes, I was. And Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Like, yeah. I don't know why, I would only turn on Disney Channel if there was literally nothing else on, on Cartoon Network or Nick. Students. So like yeah, yeah. I, I was I was the same. Uh, there was very few shows in Disney that I actually went on my way to watch. I guess it wouldn't be Nick Nick Tunes then, because that would have been the stop motion animation stuff. But is Nickelodeon? Yeah, you get the point. <laughs> Empty air must. Uh, why I I um. <laughs> why I oughta, why. <laughs> Okay, so the swimming controls in this game are kind of weird. They kept it for reignited, but what's weird is Spyro 3 has different ice physics, uh, which are better, I might add. So, like, but this, but reignited also retains those physics, so, like, reignited as, like, a whole package has two different sets of ice physics. <laughs> Alright, now to play hockey. Another kick? That's another... 
that's another thing I forgot to... Yeah, they all have, like, individual names. I like that a lot. Anyway, one thing I completely forgot to bring up that's been relevant this whole time is Spiral 1 was all about just, like, collecting stuff. That's all you're doing. Here, there's, like, challenges everywhere. And it adds a lot more variety. Spiral 1 was a very... Yeah, Spiral 1 was a lot more of a... Like, honest, I love it. I love it to death. But it was still a repetitive game. Um, Spyro 2 fixes that completely. It has stuff that you would expect out of Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> <laughs> like how he just throws a stick yeah. every time. I'm sorry, this, is, this just entertains me. Oh. oh, can you imagine the goalie in like real hockey doing that every time someone scores? <laughs> oh, throwing their mask on the ground. Like, oh, the stick. <laughs> he's just, he's <laughs> just so <laughs> passionate. He's just so passionate. Yeah, and that's a big net to cover. So I understand the frustration. <laughs> well, he's also a big guy. Yeah, didn't they didn't they play hockey in the uh, in an episode of The Office, Jacob, where like Michael Scott was like the goalie? I don't um, remember. I remember he like I skates quite a bit, but I don't think they actually play like yeah. a game of hockey. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say I don't remember yeah. that. I don't know. I might be mixing something else. Unless you're thinking of like um, Threat Level Midnight type deal. Yeah, I was gonna. I was yeah, just Threat Level like, Midnight. The, yeah, that's what. Yeah, was, okay. yeah, yeah. Was, <laughs> Anyway, so, um, notice how he says you are shooting at the red goal? Did, did you notice- did you notice that? Mm-hmm. Because guess what? What? G guess what? I didn't. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, I've done stuff like that before. I, I played this game so many times, I still do that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I, That's great. But I completely yeah. annihilate this, so, like, it's fine. I made up for it. I had the best hockey game I've How ever had. How is it not uh, a foul spider? Here. Right. <laughs> Dude, you're flaming his butt. Ref, yeah, ref. I, <laughs> Where's the ref? <laughs> yeah, Spyro also keeps a puck in his mouth, forcing the other player to, like, smash his head if they want to get the puck. Jeez. <laughs> I don't feel like this is a legal Jesus. game. Jesus. Just the same thing over Just and over. Slaps him with the stick. Yeah. Same respawn yeah. point for the puck and the player. Oh, the 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 um puck yeah, the puck actually does go to different spots each time. Oh, okay. It's just I've, I I guess I'm good enough at this to where I get very similar results each time. I mean, so if you're a first honest, timer, I, it's not you're not gonna have this much. I tried this, I didn't have much of a hard time. I'm sorry. Yeah. You're not gonna have this much of an easy time if you're a first timer at all. In fact, it's actually considered to be one of the harder orbs in the game. Hmm. At least in the original, I think they made it made the AI dumber in this. At least you're having fun in the background. I don't know. Oh yeah, you get a skill you get a skill point if you don't let the other um, guy score at all. Skill points are were officially introduced in this game, but they were added into Spiral One in this. Um, but yeah, I, I do know where all the skill points are. I don't drawing. excuse me, I don't go for all of them because uh, I just don't feel like getting good times at the speedways, but I do go for the ones I, um, the easy ones at least. Oh, so, Uka Uka, was that you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, that, uh, I feel like he looks I, like I something. Know. I, I know you know it's not Uka Uka, but it doesn't really look like Uka Uka, though. It's like this black, shady ball thing. No, I'd say it looks more like an Oni, which would be like a, which just means a ghost samurai, pretty much. Hmm. So um, so uh, in the, so what you're doing here is there's like these hockey monk statues spread around, and you're supposed to like spray uh not spray them. This isn't Mario Sunshine. You're supposed to breathe fire on them to get rid of the demon. This actually scared me when I was a kid. Like yeah, the, like the, the statues, sun change. Yeah, I yeah, the statues it. like um they they are like a much more creepy position when they're like possessed. So I was afraid to do, uh, to do this one when, when I was a kid. I had my brother do it. Yeah. But I, I'm a grown man who's only a little afraid, so yeah. it's fine. <laughs> I'm a grown babby man. You have to do it with, like, you know, the yeah. blinds open and the lights on. If it's in, if it's in the dark, it's a no-go. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, yeah. Spyro still scares me to this day. <laughs> okay, this is one of my favorite things about Reignited Trilogy. Okay. Watch what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I never actually did that, but like, yeah, that does look fun. Yeah, you can, you can't do that in the rockets in Spiral One because they're too small. But the ones in two and three, yeah, you can ride them. It's great. 
I love it when video games like have that. Just, <laughs> yeah, I almost wonder great. if that's like a thing that developers kept in. Like they probably did test that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, I'm sure. They were like, yeah, let's just yeah, keep it's fine. it. Let's yeah, it's fine. Just keep it in. <laughs> well, isn't that um, what yeah. they did with Breath of the Wild, if I remember correctly? They like bug tested the game, but then bugs where like it didn't break the game or whatever. They just kept in, just for the fun of it. <laughs> yeah, you mean like the where you can fling yourself over a rock or yeah, or like yeah, the, uh, yeah. Yep. I still want to try that. I still haven't tried like actually hitting a rock with the time spot stop ability and then mm -hmm. actually like latching onto dude, it. Dude, you know what? You know what? You know what I want to try? I want to try um that bomb thing where you jump in the air, spawn two bombs, make the first one blow up, and it causes the other bomb to rocket into you, causing you to fly like a thousand feet away. I I I see that all the time in speed runs, and it looks so fun to pull off. I just haven't played the game in a while, so I didn't mm -hmm. you know. Last time I played it, I didn't know it was a thing. We're all just kind of anyway, I spent way too much time looking for that. I, I spent way too much time looking for that guy. For some reason, even though I've hundred percent this game, I don't know how many times that one statue. I always forget. Yeah. Nice. I don't know. Some of them are like in the way back parts of the level, though. Also, is that hockey sticks on that rug, or like is it? Yeah, yeah, here? yeah. Reignited trilogy added a bunch of hockey details throughout this whole stage. In the original yeah, game, the, the actual level itself just looked like an area for monks to gather, but Reignited Trilogy really focused on the fact that they really like hockey. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. I mean, it makes sense, like... The audio. You know, yeah, I like it. it. Might as well add more. Yeah, the audio. I know. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's not that well edited together, <laughs> if I'm being honest, but I'd rather it be there um, than not there at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth it. <laughs> yeah, this game has opening and exit cutscenes for every level in the game. And it's my favorite thing. They're all full of they're all full of death. Like there's a surprising <laughs> surprisingly high death count in this game with those cutscenes. I appreciate the effort. <laughs> yeah, they, they cut that in Spyro 3 for the time. Also, I forgot these gems. Even they DK64 does a similar thing because when you before you go into the next world, you'll see like K. Roll talking to, like his cronies. And, mm. Oh, that's that's story though. This is like yeah. a, a small thing they didn't have to do at all. Like literally zero people would have complained if it if it wasn't there. Yeah. I mean, basically those cutscenes just show you what the next boss is for most of them. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. see, that's a lot of charm to the world. Yeah. I like them a lot more in the original game because I just felt like they were funnier. Like for that one example where you saw that where you the guy got eaten by the yeti off screen. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, the, first, the one we saw earlier in the original game, uh, the the guy didn't really react at all. <laughs> like he just mm -hmm. stared blankly. But in here, he does react, and I just don't find that nearly as funny. Yeah. Anyway, we can swim underwater now. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> This in the original Spiral One, you couldn't swim; that that would kill you. But here, you can swim just fine, and you can even swim um, swim underwater. And even though traditionally this is a really boring mechanic in 3D platformers, I love it in this because you go so fast. I just love that trend. Usually, the first game it's like water bad, and then the second game, for some reason, they can just magically learn how to swim. <laughs> yeah, it's never explained why Spiral can swim now. <laughs> anyway, uh. My one issue with this is Reignited added inertia. So when you stop, Spyro will take a few seconds to actually fully stop. And that makes it not control nearly as tightly as it did in the original. Yeah, see that? Yeah. There's inertia. I, I don't like that. Um, but it's still it's still a lot of fun to swim around underwater, though. It's like a Luigi physics. <laughs> yeah, I guess. This is one of my favorite opening cuts, uh, opening level cutscenes in the game. <laughs> he sees that he he was able to bring a tiki to life, so he has a uh, an idea. <laughs> and... Yeah, I do like this. <laughs> <laughs> you and me both, bud. <laughs> you and me. In, in the original game, there was like a, there, there's a detail that they omitted that bothers me. There was a heart in the original game above them, and it breaks when she falls over. Why did they get oh. rid of that? I know, right? <laughs> It'd be such a funny little detail. Yeah. There was a lot of small things about Spyro 2 that they omitted in, in the remake. I still think this is a better game, mostly because it controls better. 
But there is like a lot of small things that I miss. Not only that, look at this at full power. It's gorgeous. Yeah, no. The lighting. Uh, you say that, but this is actually one of my least favorite looking levels. It was a lot more colorful in the original. Like the oh, I was were... just looking at the lighting when I saw the... Oh, okay, well. Yeah. Okay, well, anyway, the original game, the mountains were purple, uh, and, like, the sky was, like, orange with, like, this purple hue to it, and it looked really, really pretty, really nice colors. Here it's only, like, yellow, orange, and gray, and, uh, that's so much lamer. They, yeah, I was gonna say, they could have fixed it by still keeping the hue, just adding, like, a shader gradient to the lighting. Um, I was gonna say, uh, like... It could be more complicated You can than that, obviously but, have, like, the engine they have is great, and, like, obviously the graphic fidelity is, like, great as well. But, like, I think just different color tones. Yeah. I think from what I understand, shaders can actually, like, help a lot in, like, those kind of effects and stuff. Mm -hmm. For, like, having different types of lighting in different areas and stuff like that. Actually, one thing that uh, Reignited omitted that actually does, like, I understand it, but it still really upsets me. The original Spyro games had, like, some of the prettiest skyboxes in any video game ever. If you've seen them, you know what I'm talking about. I adore the way they look, but they're just normal in this. I get it, you can't really pull off skyboxes like that, because, like, modern engines, like, you know, lighting is a lot more realistic, so, like, the way the sky looks will di dictate how the whole level looks, but mm -hmm. still, I miss that so much. I'll, I'll post a few examples of some original Spyro skyboxes so people know what I mean. Mm. I don't know. Supposedly ray tracing is supposed to be making things like lighting and reflections a lot easier, so hopefully we'll see some really creative stuff. Mm. You can <laughs> run it, yeah. Okay, so, okay, so the way this works is uh, there are three different challenges to get one orb from this guy. We I just did the first one, just hit the four corners, you're good, that's it. Uh, this one, you have to get the blue and yellow fish into this Tiki's mouth. If you get a red fish in there, he'll vomit out three. So, don't do that. <laughs> it's also a really easy challenge. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's a little bit harder in the original because the fish were faster. They, they like, very subtly lower the difficulty for a lot of challenges in, in this. Mm. Like, uh, yeah. that certain troubling trolley that we'll see later, um, they slowed it down quite a bit for Reignited. Yeah, because I remember playing the original and stopping a lot more earlier on than I did in Reignited for this game. I think, yeah, I think that might be why some of the challenges were, like, pretty tough. Mm. Yeah, this game can be deceptively hard. Uh, just beating it is a relatively easy time, but if you're going for everything, yeah, it can put up a challenge. Yeah. But Reignited did lower the difficulty for a lot of things. Not a ton, though. It's not, like... SpongeBob Rehydrate, where they st straight up ruined the final boss because they added checkpoints. Um, it it's mostly just subtle stuff. I didn't even notice in my first playthrough. Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah I, I love the fact that they all have marshmallows though. In, in, like, uh, yeah, it's the, yeah. I was gonna say I love I I love that. Um, they it's it's one of my favorite details in this level. There's a lot of small stuff. Yeah. I appreciate a game that does a lot of small details, right? You know? yeah. yeah, and even the original game did that, by the way. Yeah. I could definitely see okay, losing a green I... in that area, by the way. Where it's just literally just all the grass. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was like yeah. spending a little more time there than I needed to. I do that a lot. Again, didn't need to do that in the original games. Yeah, that was the unfortunate thing about the remake. Yeah, you end up spending a lot more time in areas because you're like scanning more. Because okay. you're like, I don't want to miss any green chips. Okay, we're just talking about nice little touches. I think this is when I point out one of the touches that doesn't really make sense. Notice how there's a window there. Mm -hmm. okay. See, there's a window. You go in. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love stuff like that. Ghost window! <laughs> wow, what is somebody this magic? screwed up. <laughs> Well, well, this is like a world with dragons and, and fairies. It's just magic. Don't yeah. worry about it. <laughs> right. I mean, I bet you saw, a tester saw that one was just like, you want to know what? It's not worth it. <laughs> I, already wrote, I already wrote five <laughs> notes as is. I already okay. wrote like ten pages on this one level. I think I'm good. <laughs> okay, so the way this puzzle works is um, you have to like hit them in a... Not in a specific order, but like you have to... Like, you start off with, like, a square button, you have to find... Okay, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> each one of those buttons has something in common with each other, and you have to find out which 
ones have something in common with. Like, it could be the color, the shape of the button itself, or the shape of the emblem. It, it's kind of hard to explain, but yeah, it's not that hard when you actually have a brain. Unlike me. <laughs> <laughs> I have a hard time explaining stuff. I'm dumb. Anyway. Um, me too. <laughs> this part is... I, I, um, this part's a little annoying because it spawns you right back in the beginning of the level, so you have to, like, charge your way back. Mm. It does make you realize, yeah, like, these levels are, like, pretty small. When you really think about it. Yeah. The way spiral levels are designed is they're all basically just ri rings. Um, mm -hmm. like, they all connect back to the beginning of the level at the end, mm -hmm. and they're all somewhat linear, but there's still, like, a lot of stuff, um, on the way. But, like, if you're just going through it really quickly, yeah, it takes no time at yeah. all. They also do a good job just, like, stacking things to make it feel... So, like, level's still dense enough to hold stuff, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Though, that being said, like, the li the uh, level design in this game is pretty linear. If they were making a Spyro 4, I would love to see more Banjo-Kazooie-style levels. I think that'd be really fun with, um, Spyro's Glide. Mm. Like, the PS1 didn't do it because the PS1 was just weak, so they had to, like, make these levels uh, with the hardware in mind. But, obviously, we're far past that point. Right. I mean, with um, Crash 4, like, do you think Spyro 4 is more of a, like, just, it's gonna come uh, out eventually type uh, deal? Like, they, they already teased it. Okay. In the Spyro, in the, sorry, in the Crash 4 art book, they show art of one of the later levels in the game, and you see, like, a, a billboard in the background that just straight up says Spyro 4. <laughs> oh. Nice. Yeah. It's happening. And we will definitely cover it, not after I'm it not comes even out. sure if that's really an oops at this point. I feel like the desert no, that's is trying to yeah. get it out, yeah. Oh, they, they tease, they always tease, like, Crash or Spyro games as they're coming out. Like, when this game, um, before it was officially announced, they just started sending these purple scaly eggs to a bunch of influencers on the internet. Uh, mm -hmm. and it had, in, like, the Spyro font said something like, something is coming soon. Before Crash Team Racing was announced, they did the same thing, but with orange fuzzy dice. <laughs> like, yeah, they, they tease stuff um, up quite a bit. Because screw Activision's NDAs. Screw. No, they're not, and these are, this is Activision I know. themselves. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. Insane Trilogy is like the only announcement that was actually a surprise. <laughs> they, they heavily hinted at the other ones. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was a supercharged gate, by the way. You need to um, destroy all those tikis in a certain amount of time to free the hula girls so they can do their hula dance and kill that thing. <laughs> yeah, see. Apparently the hula dance su summoned thunder, but they're still dancing and there's no thunder, so... Yeah, they'll... Uh, so, they, they, just, they just like dancing, Dylan. <laughs> but, the th but the thunder cloud did its job, but, it doesn't need to come but, back. But the, the thunder cloud should come back, though. They're continuing the dance like, that brought it. Day. it. That makes they, no sense. Already, it already did its job, though. It's, it's once a day. Yeah, it's Why, like wait, the, who's making it's the like rules? It's like the whole game <laughs> like, like, a certain amount of time to, like, Dylan, recharge. Dylan, do you... Do, when you finish your job, do you continue doing it? I... I, I suppose not. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So, are you saying that the thundercloud itself is a person? You say that like that's weird. <laughs> this is Spyro. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't want to debate that. <laughs> we. <laughs> are you, spo are you See, that supposed has to, stand to be on somewhat that? intentional? There's no way. No, there's no way. I, I think to. it was unintentional. I think it was unintentional, but they might. They probably found that in testing. Went. Yeah, it's fine. Keep it. Yeah. Well, that gem had his, I just say no way because the other one flung you off. Like I don't know. Like. <laughs> uh, that's because that one was going a more wild direction. Anyway, for some reason, one of the gems I collected there played the spiral one gem sound effect. <laughs> I I have no idea why that's a thing. <laughs> hmm. Oh man, this is another really good cutscene. <laughs> Hey, step, step aside, let me cook one too. <laughs> I like his smile. <laughs> nice on I like how they're so, like, <laughs> they're, like, so visibly uncomfortable. I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just like, oh my god. Uh, oh my anyway. God, he's gonna eat us. Uh, sp anyway, uh, Spyro is very good. Play it. Yes, I'm gonna say that at the end of every part, like I said. <laughs> Bye now. Right. See you later. Bye. Bye.